<laughs> Ever wondered what the future of aerial and handheld filming looks like in 2025? DJI is about to rewrite the rules with a lineup that promises to stun creators everywhere. Imagine capturing cinematic shots with the Osmo Pocket 4, pushing action limits with the Osmo Action 6, or exploring the skies with the sleek Neo 2 and Air 4. <laughs> but DJI isn't stopping there. Avatar 3 takes immersive flight to a whole new level, while the rumored mirrorless camera could finally rival traditional rigs. Every release is more than an upgrade. It's a twist on how we think about filmmaking, adventure, and creativity. Get ready. 2025 is about to make you rethink what's possible. There's one small twist that could completely change how you see this handheld camera. The DJI Osmo Pocket 4 is shaping up to be a major leap forward, not just a small upgrade from the Pocket 3. If these rumors turn out to be true, this could easily become DJI's boldest handheld camera ever. Reports suggest the Osmo Pocket 4 could get a complete redesign, moving away from the familiar single lens setup. According to DroneXL, DJI might replace the current design with a dual camera system, similar to what we've seen in the DJI Air 3 drone. One camera could feature a larger primary sensor, while the second might handle zoom or depth sensing, allowing for advanced subject tracking or even 3D-style focus effects. And here's where it gets interesting. Spy shots hint at extra glass on the front, which could mean telephoto capability or next-level active track improvements. If that's true, the Pocket 4 could be the first truly smart handheld gimbal camera with real optical depth awareness. Think of it like DJI's answer to the Insta360 Ace Pro 2 collaboration with Leica. If the leaks are accurate, DJI might introduce a dual-screen setup, a bright 2.5-inch main screen with over 800 nits of brightness for outdoor shooting, plus a front-facing display for vloggers and creators. Before we talk release dates, here's the part nobody's talking about. The price jump. Early estimates put the Pocket 4 between $599 and $699, higher than the Pocket 3's launch price. Why? Because this thing is rumored to blend AI-driven tracking, dual cameras, and pro-level color into one pocket-sized device. As for release timing, that's where rumors split. Some sources claim late 2025, while others say 2026 or even 2027. So, we might still be a while away from an official debut. Imagine hitting the trail, diving into the ocean, or sprinting up a mountain and controlling your camera straight from your Apple Watch or Garmin. Start slash stop recording, switch modes, track your heart rate, altitude, pace, even dive data. Oh no, <laughs> Garmin fans are getting spoiled with exclusive goodies like cadence and power metrics. It's like your wrist just became mission control. And the camera specs? Oh man, DJI isn't playing around. A 1-inch CMOS sensor delivers crisp detail, while video options like 8K at 30 frames per second or buttery smooth 4K at 120 frames per second make this a filmmaker's dream. USB-C with possible display port and a hefty 1,950 mAh battery that powers over 4 hours of 4K. The headline feature is its massive 1-inch sensor, delivering an incredible 13.5 stops of dynamic range. Oh, that's fire! On top of that, video shooters are in for a treat. 8K at 30 frames per second, 5.3K at 60 frames per second, and buttery smooth 4K at 120 frames per second slow motion. We're talking about the DJI Neo 2, officially confirmed to launch in November 2025. The hype is real this time. The FCC filing, public dates, and even insider dealer forecasts are all lining up, pointing to a mid-November announcement, and DJI fans are losing it already. With an FCC embargo date of January 15, 2026, this little beast is gearing up to take flight right before the year wraps up. 
but now supercharged into a tiny FPV cinematic monster. That's right, the DJI NEO 2 isn't just about flying, it's about creating. It's designed for content creators, vloggers, and FPV beginners who want that cinematic flair without lugging around a huge drone. Plus, with AI-driven tracking, ActiveTrack 6.0, and gesture and voice control, the NEO 2 practically flies itself while you focus on storytelling magic. The DJI NEO 2 is set to start at $229, slightly higher than the original NEO's $199, but packed with more value. The standard combo includes the drone, controller, and one battery, while the two-battery combo, around $279 to $379, adds a second battery and charging hub. The three-battery combo, $329 to $429, includes three batteries and a carrying case for creators on the move. For the ultimate experience, the Fly More Combo, Motion Control Edition, $429 to $529, features DJI's motion controller and FPV accessories. Affordable, versatile, and creator-focused, the NEO 2 is shaping up to be DJI's best entry-level cinematic drone yet. In short, the DJI NEO 2 isn't just a drone, it's DJI's love letter to creative freedom. It's small, smart, and seriously capable. November can't come soon enough. So, the big question is, are you ready to fly into 2026 with the NEO 2? Or just watch others steal the sky? DJI finally ditched them for a sleeker, sharper body that looks lean and futuristic, while still keeping that compact FPV vibe we love. It's like the Avada hit the gym, trimmed the fat, and came back flexing. But wait, here's the clever part. The battery has been moved further back. Yes! That tiny adjustment balances the drone better and, even more exciting, frees up valuable space at the front for a reimagined camera system. No bumpers, no wasted bulk, just pure design efficiency. And now for the big one, the camera. Oh man, DJI didn't hold back. Rumor says the Avada 3 could pack a full 1-inch CMOS sensor. Yes, a full inch. <laughs> Finally! That's a huge step up from the Avada 2's 1-slash 1.3-inch unit. What does that mean? Cleaner, sharper shots, richer details, and low-light performance that won't leave you angry at grainy footage anymore. And hold on tight. 4K at 120 frames per second. No way! That's double what we had before, opening the door to buttery smooth slow-mo action. Yes, FPV lovers, your dream shots just got real. The original Avatar dropped in September 2022, followed by Avatar 2 in April 2024, a 19-month gap. That means Avatar 3 could arrive sometime between October 2025 and March 2026, with the sweet spot likely landing between November and January. Now, the footage doesn't show much. Zooming in won't save you, but the prototype stickers and a visible cable are hard to miss. Design-wise, it still echoes the Avatar 2. Let's talk about other specs. Building on the success of the DJI Avatar 2, this next-generation FPV drone is expected to redefine drone technology. The Avatar 2 features a 1x1.7-inch CMOS sensor with 4K 60 frames per second HDR video recording. The Avatar 3 is rumored to include a larger 1-inch CMOS sensor, enhancing image clarity, color depth, and low-light performance. This improvement would be valuable for professional videographers and photographers seeking cinematic quality footage. Additionally, DJI may introduce advanced color grading profiles or raw video support, offering greater flexibility in post-production. Battery life is essential for FPV drone pilots. The Avatar 2's 23-minute flight time is impressive, but advancements in battery technology could extend the Avatar 3's flight time closer to 30 minutes. More efficient motors and improved power management could further enhance flight duration, benefiting both recreational and professional users who require extended aerial sessions. 
Stabilization is critical for FPV drones, and DJI's Rocksteady and Horizon Steady systems in the Avatar 2 already perform well. However, the Avatar 3 is expected to push stabilization further, with enhanced electronic image stabilization and possibly a mechanical gimbal. A mechanical gimbal would provide smoother footage even during high-speed or abrupt maneuvers, making it a top choice for capturing dynamic aerial shots. The Avatar 3 is rumored to include an upgraded obstacle avoidance system with omnidirectional sensors. Unlike the Avatar 2's limited detection system, a 360-degree obstacle detection feature would significantly reduce collision risks, making the drone easier to navigate in urban and forested areas. This feature would be particularly beneficial for beginners and professionals flying in challenging conditions. DJI is known for making its drones accessible to both beginners and experienced pilots. The Avatar 3 may introduce simplified controls, enhanced flight modes, and intuitive interfaces. Potential updates to the DJI RC Motion 3 controller and DJI Goggles 3 could improve comfort and usability. AI-powered flight assistants, such as automated subject tracking and pre-programmed cinematic flight paths, may also be included, enabling users to achieve professional results with ease. If this rumor turns out true, the big three, Sony, Canon, and Nikon, might start sweating a little. Fujifilm? They can relax. No full frame, no worries. Oh man. This camera can't come soon enough. We can expect it to be packed with advanced features, particularly for video recording, which aligns with DJI's expertise in drones and gimbals. While these are still just speculations, it's fun to imagine what features a DJI mirrorless camera could have. But how credible are these rumors? And if true, what could a DJI mirrorless camera bring to the table? The source of the rumors can be traced back to Andrea Pazzini a well-known leaker with a history of both confirming and debunking technology rumors. Although we don't yet have concrete details, the prospect of DJI venturing into the mirrorless camera market has captured attention. As of now, DJI has not confirmed or denied these rumors. When asked about the possibility on Reddit, DJI's support team responded with a non-committal message. Hi there. We have not yet received any information related to your question. Please stay tuned to DJI's official website for the latest updates. This vague response neither confirms nor dismisses the rumors, leaving the door open for speculation. We might see advanced video features such as high-resolution 6K or even 8K raw video recording, combined with DJI's proprietary D-Log color profile, which is highly favored by content creators for post-production flexibility. Another aspect to consider is the camera's sensor. DJI has experience with incorporating high-performance sensors in compact devices, such as their drones. Rumors suggest that their mirrorless camera could come with a 42-megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor, which would offer a balance between image quality and portability. A crowded market with strong contenders, the mirrorless camera market is already highly competitive, with strong offerings from brands like Sony, Canon, Nikon, and Panasonic. For DJI to make an impact, their mirrorless camera would need to offer something truly special. Their expertise in video technology, compact design, and image stabilization could be significant advantages. If they bring their cutting-edge video features and stabilization technology to the mirrorless format, DJI could stand out in a crowded field. The rumors about DJI entering the mirrorless camera market are exciting, but they remain speculative for now. However, if DJI does decide to venture into this space, their camera will likely reflect the company's well-earned reputation for innovation and quality. With a focus on both high-resolution imaging and video performance, DJI could attract a wide range of users, from professional videographers to photography enthusiasts. Rumors suggest that the Air 4 may have stronger and more durable arms, which would enhance stability especially for those flying in challenging environments. One concern is whether these design refinements will add weight, potentially impacting portability. However, DJI has always been mindful of keeping the Air Series travel-friendly, so any weight increase is likely to be minimal. Another interesting rumor suggests that the Air 4 might share some design elements with the Mavic 4, hinting at a more polished and professional look. Could this mean that it will come closer to Mavic-level performance?
that remains to be seen. There's also talk of a variable aperture, which would allow for greater control over exposure in different lighting conditions. If included, this feature would enable users to create more cinematic shots, particularly during sunrise and sunset when lighting can be tricky. Another rumored addition is a mechanical shutter, which would help eliminate rolling shutter distortion, a common issue when capturing fast-moving subjects. This feature is typically found in high-end drones, so seeing it in the Air series would be a major upgrade. However, these camera enhancements come at a cost. Advanced features typically drive up the price, and if DJI implements significant imaging improvements, the Air 4 could inch closer to the price range of higher-end models like the Mavic series. This raises an important question. Will potential buyers find these upgrades compelling enough to justify the increased cost, or will the Air 3 remain a viable alternative? Features like Active Track and Return to Home are likely to be even more refined, making the drone more intuitive and reliable. Additionally, improvements in transmission range and signal stability are anticipated. DJI's OcuSync technology has evolved with each generation, and a stronger, more reliable connection could be on the horizon. However, a concern is whether these enhancements will require more processing power, potentially affecting battery efficiency. Battery life is another crucial factor. The Air 3 already impressed with its 46-minute flight time, allowing pilots plenty of flexibility for capturing footage without feeling rushed. Leaks indicate that the Air 4 might push flight time even further, possibly up to 50 minutes. This would be a game-changer for aerial photographers and videographers who rely on longer flights to capture the perfect shot. As for the launch timeline, if DJI follows its typical two-year release cycle, a late 2025 launch seems likely. Leaks suggest that the drone is well into development, aligning with this expected timeline. Pricing is another major consideration. The Air 3 launched at $1,099, positioning it as a solid mid-range option. If DJI packs the Air 4 with bigger sensors, advanced LiDAR-based obstacle avoidance, and longer battery life, we could see a price increase to around $1,200 or more. This would push the Air series into higher-end territory, making buyers question whether to stick with the Air lineup or invest in a Mavic instead. Until DJI officially unveils the Air 4, we can only speculate. For current Air 3 users, the decision to upgrade will depend on whether the new features justify the added cost. For newcomers, it may come down to whether the Air 4 remains a mid-range powerhouse or starts creeping into premium territory.